Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands. And today I'd like to talk about the Traveler's Tree. Some of you may have heard of Traveler's Tree, some of you may not have, uh, but there's some things that are incorrect that a lot of people think they know about the tree. So let's talk about those. The Traveler's Tree is the one behind me that is so tall, you can see the banana-like leaves that are up on a palm-like trunk. And you can see there are several of those trunks. So let me talk about the first thing. Where is the Traveler's Tree from? The Traveler's Tree is from Madagascar. And you may have seen it featured in some animated films by that same name. It's native only to that island. One of the unique things that it has is its ability to, to create leaves in only two rows. And that produces a fan-like shape, which you see there in the crown, where all the leaves are going opposite each other. And they don't spiral around the trunk like a typical palm or banana would do. That's referred to as disticus leafing and it is unusual in the plant world but not that rare at any rate the traveler's tree is related to the banana and i think you can see that from its leaves it's closer related to the birds of paradise the white bird and the orange bird of paradise the plant has a similar flower but not as showy to those kinds of flowers one interesting thing i want to talk about about the traveler's tree is its pollinator so I think we all think about bees, butterflies, birds, moths. In the tropics here, we also always add to the list bats. Bats pollinate the, tra the uh, sausage tree that lives in Africa. And you can see the sausage is hanging from the tree here. But that is not what pollinates the traveler's tree. The traveler's tree has the largest pollinator in the world. It is pollinated by a species of lemur. The lemurs are a primitive uh, group of primates that are somewhat related to monkeys, but more primitive. And one of those lemurs climbs up the tree, opens up the flowering structure, reaches down with its tongue to get the nectar, and in doing so gets pollen on its face. It goes to the next tree and does the same thing and spreads the pollen. So this wins the award for the largest pollinator in the world. Why the name Traveler's Tree? Traveler's Tree comes from the name that if you take a machete, and you whack the base of one of those leaves, the way they are laid out, water gets trapped at the base of those leaves. You can see how the water would be gathered by the leaves and sent down into that fan-shaped fan structure. If you whack the bottom of the leaf, you can actually get water out of it to drink. So it's good for travelers. There's a myth about the traveler's tree, and that is that you can tell directions by it. You cannot. You can see from behind me that it's been it's oriented in several different directions, so it does not tell you east, west, north, and south. Well, I hope you've learned a little bit about Traveler's Trees today, and I so enjoyed seeing you today in the garden. I'll look forward to next time.